I've wanted to make a vertical clamping surface for the end of the CNC table. And this would allow me to clamp things so that I can work on the ends of them with the CNC router. Now what would be nice to be able to do with this is to be able to adjust it to get it perfectly vertical. So I'd like to put it on a hinge. And this would allow me to cut things at an angle as well. I'm thinking about being able to do like the side of a bowl that's a half of a sphere. So it would be nice to be able to cut things somewhere between 90 and zero degrees. To start, what I think I need to do is to make a piece of hardwood trim along the edge of the CNC table, which is made out of MDF. And this will do two things. It'll give me a good material to put the screws in for the hinge, and it'll give me a little more depth for the bracing for the back of the new vertical table. So I got a piece of hardwood ready. I forget even what this is. It was a piece of something that I had in the shop. I made it a little too long so then I could cut it down to length. And I could cut out a little notch for the metal frame. I don't really need to do this but it, but it makes it a little fancier. <laughs> Now I can open the hinge up and what I'd like to do is to mark on my little strip of trim where the holes are going to be for the hinge so that I can place the screws that will hold the piece of trim into the table so that they won't be in the way for the hinge screws. So I can drill the holes that will hold the trim to the end of the CNC table. And then I can put in two just to kind of hold it in place. And then I can put the rest of them in. And this is probably overkill for the screws, but the piece of trim also helps hold the new vertical table away from the metal frame. And then I can attach the hinge, and that just takes a lot of little screws. Now to start making the vertical table. So it's made from a piece of three quarter inch MDF, just like the top of the CNC table. Now what I need to do to have this functional is to be able to clamp to it. So what I'm thinking might work is to cut a bunch of holes into that surface, which clamps can then be pushed through, then be able to clamp work pieces to that, to that vertical surface. So I cut a bunch of rectangular holes that are just wide enough for my clamps to fit through. And then I can clean up the edges. And now to make a simple frame on the back side of that surface, just to keep that surface a little more rigid. So I can cut the sides and the bottom. And I'll put a piece along three sides, so two sides and then the bottom. And those are pretty easy. I can just put them in place and then attach them with screws. Now I had two spots for struts that would be on the inside of the edges, so somewhere in the middle. <laughs> so I could drill a hole through the back where I knew the strut would be, and then I could attach the strut through that hole that I put through. And then once I had them in place, I could then do the rest of the screws. I found with the countersink bit in the MDF, when you don't have something under the MDF, you have to kind of hammer it down lightly. Because if you just push, it'll break through the bottom. The bit and the drill and all of your force will fall onto the MDF and the countersink will, will take out too much. So to attach the panel to the CNC table, I need to stand it up vertically, upside down on top of the table with the hinge completely open. So I moved the gantry to the CNC over to right where it would hold the panel vertically. And then I could clamp the panel to the gantry just to hold it in place. Then put the screws in for the hinge.
Now with these screws, they're just going into the MDF. So I'm hoping this is going to be strong enough just because there's so many little screws. You can see how the panel hinges around the CNC table. So I kind of made a mistake. I made the little end piece of wood, that, that piece of trim I stuck on the end, a little bit too tall. It's actually taller than the top bit of the table here. So it sticks down into the hole. So the clamp I meant to go in there doesn't, won't go in there. And th this is kind of the most critical row of holes because it's closest to the top. So what I'm thinking I will do is I've got a, a flush trimming bit and I'll, I'll use the table as a template to basically cut that little piece of wood off. That should work, hopefully. <laughs> so I can route out that little bit of the trim that's in the way. So this saved me having to take the hinge off and re redoing all of those screws. In fact, taking the project all the way back to the beginning and trimming down that piece of trim by a little tiny bit. <laughs> and it worked pretty well. It's not real pretty, but it worked pretty well. So you can see how that piece of trim is cut with little notches in it now. You can see how the clamps work with the holes in the table to hold the workpiece in place. Now here's where the game controller really helps because I can get the router set up at the far end of the CNC from the computer, which I really couldn't do standing at the computer. So what I thought I'd do is a quick little test and make a joint with the, with the new setup. So this would this isn't for anything more than just to see if I can make a drawer joint. Something like a curvy dovetail. <laughs> it works pretty well. It could be a tiny bit more accurate, but maybe I just need to, to tweak the process a little bit. So hopefully this gives me a lot more functionality with the CNC. Okay, so I don't have a way to hold the table at an angle. And that's what I need to figure out. So the, what I've been thinking I'll do is just clamp, clamp the table to the steel frame as kind of a, a hack way to do it. So I cut some long, narrow wedges and I can use those to take up the difference between the frame and the and the movable part of the table. So I kind of just shove those in there. I can then clamp the table to the to the steel frame. Thanks for watching.